Looks like somebody's ready for the season. <sighs> okay. This might be the place. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys don't mind, but mind if I join your party? You don't want your business. But, but, wait. I have a business card. Bzzz. Hmm. Goosebumps Avenue, Seattle. Yep, he's got it right. Okay, boss, you can let him in. Yeah, he's a visitor. Hello, it's me, the Duke of Halloween. I don't really normally do raps, but are you ready to get crazy or what? Okay, I've heard cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, but you are cuckoo with scare me to death. I'll take that as a yes. Now, to party! Okay, fine. I'll join the Trix Rabbit in a scary, spooky party. Ooh. Now, my fair visitor, welcome to the Scream Club. Or just, um, Scream Club, for short. Here you'll find the Creepies and the Crawlies <sighs> and- Hey, watch it! Okay, man, it's quite alright. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Scream. Please forgive me. Oh, chill, dude. I'm not Scream. This is just a mask. See, mate? Oh, jeez. You almost had me there for a second. Don, how could you? Do you even remember Rule 70? <sighs> Scare Club members who wear masks must never reveal themselves. I get it, man. Jeez. What is wrong with you? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Walk away in your shame. Now, usually in the Scream Club, we usually tell stories that will give you a chill down your spine. Now, does anyone have a story that will give a chill down your spine? If you do, raise your hand. Ooh, ooh, I've got one. It's about how I never got a business card to this dang place. All right, all right. I got a story, but I don't want to tell it to you because instead of getting a chill down your spine, you might just get paralyzed. Boss, please do tell the story. I'll do anything. I might even give you my wife and my kids into this club. All right, all right. You can just give me something. Instead of your wife and kids. That would be weird. Just give me the biggest and fattest booger in your nose you got. You betcha, boss. <laughs> okay, I think I got it. Okay, it's almost there and... Got it. Be careful, it's slimy. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, thanks for the ticket. All right, all right. Since all of you asked, I'm going to tell you the story of the polyester geist. One day, a man was shopping at a local Macy's. Jeez, this took me hours. I would like to buy this shirt, please. Oh, you had a good choice, sir. That will be a dollar fifty. But wait, the price tag says ninety nine cents. Sorry, sir. Store policy. Not my problem. <sighs> Do you want to take a ten instead? Later that night. Hey, dude. Guess what? I bought this awesome shirt today at Macy's. It's pretty awesome, man. You should try it on yourself. Dude, I think I feel pretty weird about this. I don't see what you're worried about. It's just a plain old shirt like someone from 1843 could wear it. See if I'm right and you're wrong. I don't know, man. What if the shirt is possessed? I mean, this is Halloween month after all. Ah, oh, come on, man. It's October 28th and it's just three days away. Alright. But don't say I didn't warn you, okay? The next day. Okay, this is where the story gets shocking. Oh, there's my Coke. Whoa, what's that doing there? 
I get out of the closet? This is a weird coincidence. Phew. Now I take care of things. Luckily, this piece of tape will hold it in long enough. Maybe it will stay there. Ah, oh, jeez, I need to be outside. Wait, is it here? Huh. I think he gave up this- Ah, oh, come on, really? I don't get it. The shirt isn't giving up. Maybe he was right. It is possessed. I think I know what I must do. Alright, I got the cauldron. Now let's see if the spell works. One Frankenstein hand. One face of a uh, scream. And finally, the shirt. Alright. Alright, this better work. Eye of Newt and Wool of Bat. Let this shirt be gone in a snap. Well, it did get rid of the shirt. Nice start better though. But what's holding me? Aw, oh, come on, really? That spell book is a ripoff. Well, I tried. I really, really tried. Nothing works. You know what? I'm just gonna return that short tomorrow. Ten minutes later. Luckily, this piece of tape will keep it from coming in. Um, dude? What are you doing here? Well, after the day you bought your shirt, I knew it was going to be possessed, so I stayed here for safety. And I knew you were going to come here and say that you were wrong and I was right. Okay, okay, fine, you were right. That shirt is possessed. It's been following me. I tried a spell to get rid of it, and it didn't work. Now, it's been attacking me all because I said I was going to return it. And it threw this hair comb at me. So can, I, can you pretty please tell me how to get rid of it? All right, all right. I'm going to tell you the best way to get rid of evil spirits. Well, whatever you were going to say, you're too late now. I got this. Hey, evil possessed shirt. If you're going to get through him, you're going to have to... Dude, grab that Ghostbusters ghost vacuum over there. I bought it on eBay for sale. Alright, if you insist. Oh, come on, this, this better work. This actually looks pretty good. Also, <coughs> grab that Coke bottle over there. <coughs> Fabric is always soggy when you add liquid to it. <coughs> All right. Dude, I'm not sure if I can do this alone. Remember me. <coughs> dude, wait. He's right. I have to do this. Come on, evil ghost shirt. I know you're here somewhere. It's gotta be here somewhere. <laughs> Something to Aha, there it is. Go get some. Wait a minute. It was a flashlight, wasn't it? Yeah. Well then, you can't overpower the power of Coke, shirt. Ah, I think you're too soggy not to beat me up now. And I think he's too stressed. <laughs> Got it. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just 
trying to tell me something. Why would I save you? Well, your brand's banking new. I don't want to ruin you. Man, this reminds me of the time when my friend would always talk to a Ouija board. I've seen a lot. Like, a whole lot. Goodbye, evil possessed shirt. Oh, hey man. Dude? Oh, wait. I thought he caught you. He did. But then he took me to my bed and hypnotized me to sleep. It was weird. Anyways, where is he now? Well, I think he's kicked the bucket. So, do you want to go to KFC? I heard they're having a Halloween offer there. Uh, yeah, sure. I can eat. And they say this shirt still hides somewhere in this town. So, what'd you think? Wow, boss, that was the most amazing, scary story that I ever heard in my life. I'm going to tell that story to my children and my children's children. Yeah, I know. That's what the Duke of Halloween does. Speaking of which, where is that new kid? Oh yeah, that kid. He loved saying that the story wasn't scary at all because you weren't even telling it. He's not even telling the story. <sighs> I'm leaving this week's show. Tell him that the story wasn't scary because he didn't even tell it. Good day to you, sirs. Really? That's what happened? Well, at least I told you the story because I told you before I told him. And we have to close up for the night. Man, closing time. My favorite part of the day. Eerie, eerie.